That's a good takedown, guys. Look at him strip and drag. Look at that. God, dog. There we go. I'm going to reel down on him. I kind of feel like he's hit. God, dog, he's taking off. There we go. Oh, that was rough. Aggravating some of the guns. Howdy, folks. <clears throat> so, I'm, I gotta go get some skipjack. I'm out of skipjack. So, I'm gonna go to Smithland, Kentucky today. I got a couple new skipjack lures I wanna try see how many I can gather up and then I got it I'll catfish for a little bit um I don't really feel all that well I got some kind of bug or some kind of horse crap um so it's according to how I feel today how long I fish I kind of feel like that they're going to bite pretty good today it's a uh, low for some reason, it's a low pressure. There ain't nothing anywhere near us, but the barometric pressure is 29.92. So that is like primo catfishing. Um, but like I said, it, it's supposed to get up to 92, 93 today. I don't feel very well. I'm gonna probably shut it down early, but Come along with me, see how that skipjack lure does, see how she works, and we'll catch a few catfish today, I think. I will see y'all here directly. Well, folks, I'm going to start the day out catching skipjack, because i got to get some. I'm out. I've got a few older frozen ones, and I done broke off my new skipjack rig. It's unfortunate that we got so many gar. But I think I can use my old trusty sabiki and get plenty. I really wanted to try that new rig and I've got more of them. But if Gar's gonna like it so good. See, I can run this Sabiki faster and stay out of the Gar. Sometimes the skipjack fishing's dog Aaron likes to do it. I had two of them on at that round. I just seem not catch them two at a time. They more apt to come off. Sometimes the skipjack fishing's more fun than about anything you can do. Aaron loves to do it.
I get about 15, I'm going to shut her down and go to fishing. I just wanted to make sure that I got some to go to the, so I'd have plenty to go to the Mississippi without having to come down here again. I mean, them son of a guns is just right here at the boat. Something has happened to my jigs and they're not liking them all of a sudden. I see them coming up for them, but they're not hitting them. They, they go back down. What you do in a situation like that is reel them right on top of the water where they'll pop and move around. I might have two on now. Nope. Looks like he straightened my jigs back out. I'll have to work on these for a little bit after I get them caught. to get them under ice. I'm gonna work on my cooler and tie on this other, my other thing and see if, if they bite them still yet while they're biting good. Cause I wanna have confidence in that thing whenever I am, um, whenever I'm not catching them good. Folks, it's called a sumo spoon. I'm gonna give it a whirl. I've used foily spoons, but like I said a while ago, I was running it slow with a sinker on it. But these fish are closer to, oh my God, look at them going after it. I mean, them things are flat going after. I figure it'll be a real good bait when they're slow. But they don't like to get hooked on it. That one got hooked. Did 
That's a big old skipjack there. They're easier to mess with. They're eating that thing up. It's getting more bites than that um, sabiki rig. But they do not like to get hooked on it. That's aggravating as crap. I'm not getting hurt. See, that's crazy. They seem to average a little bit bigger on that thing. White bass evidently like it too. Should have used him for bait, but I don't know the rules in Kentucky whether you can use them for bait or not. Boys, we about got enough to last us maybe the rest of the year. And if nothing else, I'll come over here right before I leave and get some more. I need to work on my depth finder. It's not working. All right, folks, we got enough. I'm gonna get the, my canopy up and um, get stuff ready to roll the catfish. Right off the bat, folks, I'm still uh, undoing poles. getting them baited out there.
and it's going to get hot today. It ain't very deep out there where I'm throwing. <sighs> Reckon that fish is on there? Say so he is, but I don't think he's any size. come off. That one size. God dog he come off. Son of a gun. I can't get it out of the rod holder, folks. And that fish got off. It was tangled up on something down there on the bottom and then come off. That one is a stripping drag and taking off, folks. And that thing is a gar and a half. That might be the reason why they're not getting hit. Cause see this pole's taking off now. Or it did. I somehow get that thing off the hook. Aggravating some of the guns. come off in. Anytime you hook one of those folks make sure that your line is not frayed up. And it is. So, I'm going to set it over here to the side. I bet you that's what them things are, is them gar. I 
That's the reason why they're not getting hit. It sucks not having no depth finder, folks. And I don't know what's wrong with it. I worked on it 45 minutes. But I'm just having to go off my eyeball and see where I think the current breaks are underneath the water. I kind of want to be closer to the dam, but there's an old boy drifting up and down through there and I don't want to interrupt his fishing. That left hand pole's doing strange things. Acting gar like. Well, whatever it is, is on there. Was. Well, it might still be on there. I don't know what it's doing. I put little baits on it, so maybe if it's a little catfish, I'll get one hook. I'm pretty sure what I was dealing with while ago was gar. Because I caught one. And if I felt like it, we'd, uh, we'd pull anchor, go back to the boat ramp, and go Wycliffe, Kentucky, and hit the Mississippi down there. It don't feel very good today. I don't like the way them fish come up to the surface, but I think this is a catfish. It is, it'll go about five pounds. Maybe eight. Big old fat thing. Nice first blue of the day. Maybe Liller Baits was the key. Because I was using great big old baits. I thought it was supposed to become fall in September. It's a hot son of a buck today. Come on, baby. Go down, go down, go down. Keep going, keep going. I'm gonna go real on that fish. <clears throat> Maybe. So that fish was pumped up there on top of the water with that. That tells me gar.
dog gonna fall out of the boat. Ain't that something? Both poles got fish on them. That's kind of the reason why I, um, only wanted to run two. Another blue. fish on long handled thing Well, it's tangled up in my reel. Alright. What else can you find to tangle up in? Rod holders. Rod holders. Reel. Another nice seven ten pound fish. I gotta get this other pole. He's swimming plumb up there towards the dam with it. <clears throat> he ain't near as big. That's a gar. If he'd let go of it, he'd come off. At least he didn't fray up my line yet.
get that thing out of there so I can work this catfish. Oh, I done turned him loose. All right, folks, I got a regret. Well, while I was jacking with that gar, he got me, as usual. I'm going to move a little bit closer to the heavier current and see what that does. Because I do think we're alone right now. I think we gotta stay 50 yards away from that dam and 100 yards away from that. 150 feet is 30, or 50 yards, ain't it? We'll try it here for a little bit. Well, folks, we're back at it again for a little bit. Dog, oh, whatever that was, just knocked the living fire out of it. Well, whatever he is, <laughs> pretty good fish. He's the littlest one I've caught today. Another five pound blue. I just think it's through that right hand post got a big old head piece on. I don't think they're liking the big baits. Look at that thing go, folks. God, go. <clears throat> that thing come out of the chute pulling drag. I think Liller Bates is the key. I don't like the way this camera sets on this life jacket. I don't think he's like exceptionally big, but I think it's a good fish. I'd say he'd probably go 15 or so. He's all rolled up and everything.
Them things are flat, freaking fat. They're feeding. He come off. That's good. When they roll up around them lines like that, that's never never a good thing. If he was a if he was a monster I'd be mad. I'm gonna switch everything over to Lillard Bait. Lacking head pieces, neither. Fish trying to do. Whatever he done, he done it. He come on hook. Oh boy. I'd catch one over twenty, I'd call it today. Got the dog, he's taking off. Boy, them GFXs are easy to get it out of the rod holder with a fish on them. I'm trying to keep him out of my other line. Another gar. Them GFXs are good to get out of a rod holder when they got a fish on them. If this is a gar, folks, we're gonna move. And it feels like a gar.
then again, he ain't coming to me. That's a good blue. This is the biggest fish I've caught on them GFXs. Check that out. He might come up here directly. Don't know. God, I hope he don't get off. Because I at least want to put one 15, 20 pounder in the boat with a biting like this today. I know one thing, these GFXs is going to be fun. Cause look at that, look at that pole bend. Y'all see? Might be 30 pound fish. We'll put a scale on him. Well, I'll have to get this fish out of here and then go from there. Man, I'm sick when I can't handle fish no better than that. I'm weak. <clears throat> I'm just like, blah. I'm gonna get him in the net. Go on back, buddy. out there on the water they was biting pretty good today I caught one pretty good when I hadn't caught a, a 25 pounder since I was in Virginia um, I was pretty stoked but you know I didn't even really enjoy it because it, it 
No, it was just, it, it's like I said, it was just a bad, bad day. I wound up getting some more skipjack and I got about 10 white bass I'm gonna eat for supper. So all in all, that new skipjack lure I got works pretty good. I don't like the way that it don't hook skipjack. It does real good with white bass. Everyone that hits it um, gets hooked. It is called a sumo spoon from Catfish Sumo. And them, them skipjack flat hit the fire out of it, but for some reason they don't get hooked. Um, I'm a, I'll probably modify it and um, see if I can stick an extra hook on it. Um, they don't really fall off of it when they do get hooked, but man, I probably, I probably had 30, 40 hits that did not get hooked by skipjack. Like I said, every white bass, every white bass that hit it got hooked. So the Ohio is slowly, slowly going on up in the race of the rivers, the battle of the rivers. Um, I'm gonna hit the Mississippi next next video with some good skipjack and. Um, see how it goes so that Mississippi better start flat producing some fish if it's gonna keep up with Ohio I feel like today if I had the power to stay there and um, move around and drift fish um, I'd have got into something big but I will see y'all next time I'll be on the Mississippi River a fishing her up.